automatically filled in you can just immediately hit return because that's one of the few options that it has if you know what I'm saying so let's go down here and paste that in there and you can see with just a few um, things that we've set up so far we're already getting into a point where like we've got a lot of these add properties things so you might want to go and write uh, uh, IB objects and then step down here put a little note that these are going to be integers or booleans and you know uh, a boolean value basically is still just a number it's um, zero or one just depending on whether that's uh, no or yes accordingly and uh, let's see we can now jump back over here to our implementation file and okay you know while we're here let's go back over here and uh, set up the uh, IB action for this so I'm just gonna paste this out IB action and this will be like how about an obvious name button press jump back over to our implementation file it doesn't really matter where we write this so I'm just gonna find another IB action and Paste it on top of there. Let's just go ahead and put in here a log statement. Uh, what should we what should we spit back out? Is there anything interesting we can think of? Ah, whatever. And you know what? Uh, I would like to actually talk about this really quick. We can at any time, if we want to kind of organize this a little bit better, we could write um, pound, and then as soon as you write p, it's going to give you pretty much what you want, pragma mark, and then um, you can set a label here. So we could say uh, IB actions, or let's write it like this. For, I would, let's be a little bit more specific, for whatever. Okay. And you'll see now, if you were to pull down over here, that there's that um, little label that we just created. So when you end up uh, setting up tons and tons and tons of different actions and things like that, uh, these really help to keep things organized. And I'll even do things like this. Uh, let's see. Pragma mark, and I'll just put in tons of lines. If I have like another kind of visual cue there, I might even take a bunch of these, paste them out that way. So then when I open this up, I can kind of ignore all the text that's over here and then just kind of focus my eye on the far right. So, <clears throat> okay, now let's go back over here to Interface Builder. And does everybody remember how to do this? Go over here to File Zoner, hold down the Control key, and let's find our button. Go to My Button, that's the only option that we have. And then with my button selected, let's go and choose one of these options. You probably are going to want to go with uh, touch up inside. So pull from that all the way over here to files owner. And there's that button press. So no, no, press me. Button press. Okay, so put that out. Okay, I think it is about time to close things down. This is uh, heading to be towards a, a two hour lesson, and we've got plenty more training to go. If you guys are seeing this tutorial immediately after uh, I released it, which is, I guess, what's today's date? It's somewhere near Valentine's Day, February 12th. Uh, expect it a week from now for uh, to get uh, download links to the next part. Uh, obviously, if you were to buy this tutorial, and there's already a second part for you to download, go ahead and download and start watching it whenever, and so on uh, like that over this uh, next few weeks that uh, we're releasing things.
Uh, and also, too, uh, I'm going to link up um, or I'm going to create a, a forum on uh, the Cartoon Smart website. Uh, if you look in the top left, you should see a link to the forum. And if you scroll down to iPhone, there will be a dedicated forum uh, for communicating your requests to me regarding uh, things you'd like to see. Uh, I obviously kind of have a roadmap sort of sketched out here for things that we're going to be going over. Uh, and definitely all of them are in some way gaming uh, related just you know stuff that I think is going to be uh, useful to uh, anyone wanting to create a game things like the accelerometer and all that other super fun stuff that the uh, iPhone is capable of and um, you know sounds uh, really just you know anything I've done so far I'm going to try to teach <laughs> uh, also uh, also, what else? Oh, also, I would like to uh, have you guys work a little bit on your own, of course. Uh, now that you've kind of seen this initial process for, you know, setting up things from the from Interface Builder and declaring the property and then synthesizing them and then just playing around over here, uh, I'd encourage you to do more of that because when you build your own game, that's going to be a lot of what you're going to be doing is, you know, exploring I guess uh, over here in interface builder uh, there's things in the library I would say though don't worry about trying to mess with right now um, these controllers up here don't worry about them uh, if you want to play around I would recommend this is an easy one text view uh, the scroll view is kind of self-explanatory these are not so much so uh, maybe the date well, nah, I, would, I wouldn't mess around with them too much right now we will talk about the pick review certainly because that's a great one for a for a preference in a preference file uh, let's see we've already uh, played with that some keep playing with it a label that's easy buttons easy text field that's kinda well you can throw that on stage and you can click on it you, you might have trouble releasing the text field uh, we'll, we'll get into that later too switches are pretty simple uh, sliders pro uh, I haven't done a progress view actually activity indicator view that's kind of um, that's a really simple one it just kind of animates while it's doing something or it kind of animates when you tell it to and then you stop it animating so you can try that one uh, if you want you could also let's see you could probably figure out what to do with the toolbar yeah I think you could do that um, I believe the bar button item is something that you add on to the toolbar so you need to do that first and then drag that on there um, the same with the spacing these guys so so I think there's a lot that you could just kind of play around with and essentially just exercise, you know, with right now. Do a, follow the same kind of pattern that we set up through here and play around. So I'm going to leave you guys uh, these files as they are. Obviously, ignore all this stupid stuff up here. You don't really need to see, you know, created by whatever. Um, and uh, I will see you guys back here soon enough.